the Chowchin Chows, Lantern Joe here, your Red Nose Lantern, and welcome back to another episode of the Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it right here to Pony Island, and we also got Machamp, uh, Machamp Shove, so now we can shove things with our Machamp friend. So, with that in mind, let's uh, do this. It's for, this is Thursday's episode. Let's head back to 10 Carat Hill on Melee Melee Island and shove our way to the Flying Ism Z. As I said, as soon as we were able to do it, we would go and grab that. So let's go and grab that now whilst we are now able as we are now able to do it. So let's go and do it. So, I'm going to get my uh, Tauros to get myself to there quicker. Do I have repels? I have normal repels. Do I have anything bigger than a normal repel? Because I haven't been buying repels. I really should have been buying repels. I have one max repel. Any supers? Seven supers. Oh, I need to buy more repels. Before we head to like the vast pony canyon, I really need to buy more repels because I know that place is long, and we'll be in there. We'll probably be in there for a few episodes, just like we were. Uh, for, uh, you know, just like we were for kind of a, a, a few things. Like, we've spent four episodes inside the A for Paradise. Oh, you can't go any further, can you? It's, it's too small. Okay, fine. I'll continue on my own way then. And here it is. Hey, gentlemen. Our Flyingism Z from the furthest hollow in Ten Carat Hill. So there we go. And with that in mind, back on with the adventure. Back to Pony Island. And back to continuing on with the story. Whoa, we're going to Pony Island. <laughs> no. No joke. We could, uh, I could make something out of that, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. You guys could be glad I'm not going to make something out of that. Just need to get back through this route. Yes, I'll... I'll throw another repel on just to get back through this route. I mean, we need to go to the Pony Breaker Close, and that's a new encounter. So, when this repel runs out, we'll get on that, and we'll go to the Pony Breaker Close, and we'll get this new... I saw that. Give me that. Now, can I go back there and grab that item? Because it might be something important, or it might be not anything at all important. We'll have to like wait and see on that you heal me which is quite nice not I didn't want to talk to you I want to talk to Mudsdale and there's Hapu's grandma And then down here is another little room with a Zygarde core. Sinner wants to talk to you. I see uh, that you've c collected a Zygarde core. Each of these cores remember memorizes a move that can be used by Zygarde. You can teach those moves to Zygarde whenever you like. Everything is up to you. What a chance. 
I am out of I've run out of repel, so I'm gonna base. We tell myself, no, no more repels, Joe. We need this. We need an actual encounter here on this route, so let's go and get that now. Hang on, is this? Wait, is this a new route yet? Was this still pony? Hang on. Is this a new route? So this is Pony Wilds, okay. And this is Ancient Pony Path. Yeah, this is a new encounter. Okay, so we can get a new encounter here. My encounter for the Ancient Pony Path is a... It's a spiel. Okay. It's another flying type. Uh, sorry, it's another water type. I don't really need this many water types. I will admit I have so many in the box now. And I kind of have very few amounts of deaths, really, in relation to how many Pokemon are in the box. Touch wood. But, you know, I'll take it nonetheless. Yay, we have a spiel. It wasn't... He was able to catch really easily. I uh, don't really know what to call you. Ballo. Ballo. Call you Ballo. What's this? It's a deep sea tooth. Okay. Not useful right now, but might be useful sometime. And yes, I can come back here right now. Cool. Which means, in other words, I can get this. It's a Comet Shard. That's money. That's a lot of money. That's fifth. That's 15 grand. That's how much money that is. That's 15 grand, ladies and gentlemen. We're making bank today, because I've also... Uh, I also noticed we had a pearl string in the, uh, in the bag as well. I haven't sold yet, so... We can make some bank. Can we go back there? Because, like, this is the way to the aftergame area. I'm pretty sure you can't go back here yet. There's a wild kingler about. Gonna run from that. Just to be on the safe side. I can get back here then. Into the Pony Grove. Arg! Sure, you can go through there when the ch when you're the champion. That is. Oh. Okay, never mind. Can't go back here yet. I'll battle you. All right, Collector Raymond has a buy sharp. I mean, if I can get the U-turn off, that would be great. Because of course that could do a, that could do some sit that can do a little bit of damage, and I can get into someone who can actually deal with this. Cool, I can do that. Uh, who do I want to? Who can deal with this? Because you're dark. You can deal with this. Choice Bat. Betty can deal with this with a Choice Banded Earthquake. Yeah, Betty can deal with this. Choice Band, Earthquake. Betty, deal. Beautiful. By sharp down. And a Noctowl. Sadly, I need to get out of here now because I am choice banded. You know what? Let's let Pikachu try and deal with this. Come on, this is your first battle, Pikachu. Uh, sorry, this is your first battle, Pikachu. This is your first battle on the team. I want to see if you can handle yourself as much as every other team member can handle themselves. 
I want you to play rough. Does about half. I will take. Really? Are we really doing this? Then I will... Then I will hit you again with another play rough. If we're really doing this... I gotta crit this time. Peekaboo took that. Nice. And then end it with some faint attacks. Oh, I should have ended it with... I should have ended it with... Uh... I should have ended it with another play rough and it would have ended it. It's fine, a tackle order will kill from there. A little bit of a risky play to go for faint attacks. I thought it would I thought it would kill. But sadly, it lived on one. Or oh, really low HP. I don't know I don't know the exact numbers, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know the exact number of HP he lived on. But the fact is he did live. Which I'm not okay with. Anyway, let's get to the vast pony canyon. Uh, let's get to the uh, pony breaker coast or wherever we need to go. I could have had a grump pig. I mean, I think I'm be I think I'm better off with a spiel, really. Yeah, personally, on my I really think I'd be better off with the spiel. So, yeah. No Grumpig pick for Joe. Ooh, item. Item, item. item, item, item uh, t TM. Yeah, I mean TM. Oh, I can't get it from this angle. I have to go back. All right, fine. So this is the Pony Breaker Coast. There is grass here. The grass counts as Ancient Pony Path. So... The grass doesn't count as an encounter. Oh, it's TM73 for Forest Curse. It's not a good move, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a good move. All right, I'll battle you. What you got for me? Sightseer Jamie. That's a Solomons. Okay, Sightseer Jamie, I see you. I'm a little bit scared of you. You have four Pokemon as well. I am actually a little scared of you. Um, I guess my best play is to go into Peekaboo here. Oh, you know Crunch. Maybe my best play is not... Okie dokie, we are back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my capture card got disconnected somehow. I don't know how that happened. Uh, yeah, I did do... I did put... I did hit Play Rough, and, well, basically didn't do a lot of damage, and uh, he's crunched me twice now, and I need to... Uh, not die. It happened again. Sorry about that. This game does not like me right now today. today. I'm going to cut all that out. My editing is going to be annoying. Like, there's going to be like, a lot of cuts, but like... Uh, but it's necessary. There's a Probo Pass here. I'm choice branded into Dragon Claw, so I cannot hit you. Can Black Sail do this? Come on, Black Sail, you can do this. Stone Edge. Oh, you took that like a beast, Black Sail. Nice work. I mean, obviously, we would have been able to take that like a beast, but, you know. Still. Keep, 
keep beasting and of course also keep giga draining and we'll be fine. And I'm keeping all this sort of in. If only like I could like download the BBC test cards whilst you were uh, uh, to put on the screen. You know what? I might do that. You know, I might try and keep all this in and then put like the BBC test cards in just to... Uh, uh, just because. Wait, you're learning Pedal Blizzard now? Ooh, Pedal Blizzard's physical. Your physical attack stat is awful. Pedal Dance, I wouldn't mind. Pedal Blizzard? No. Whilst I still can say no to moves, I'm going to say no to moves. Hint, next series we won't be able to say no to moves. Right, in this situation I want to go to death. That's a goth attack. And you're not dark psychic. You know, in these games. In Dreyanu games you are dark psychic. But in, in these games you're just no, you're just psychic type. Beautiful. Oh no, I can't heal. I'm fine. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I've been released from the telekinesis. You have a green ninja coming up. Can I U turn out of here? We should do really nice damage. And then go into Black Sail to finish this off. We have a Giga Drain. Sure, Fane attacks me. That actually did a lot of damage. I'm not okay with the amount of damage that did. But that was a good play. Death goes to level 50. Beautiful. I need a heal. And because we're right next to Hapu's house, I'm going to take the opportunity to get a free heal. In milk tank. Thank you. I like that. I like the fact that milk tank is willing to heal me anytime I want. I mean, I suppose that's it's kind of cool, but I'd love another. I'd love like like when I'm grinding, I'm out there on the uh, po uh, on the very fast, uh, the very bottom bits of. Uh, uh, of the Pony Canyon near the Battle Tree. I'd love a place to heal my Pokemon out there. You know, this is where I'm grinding in the Pony Gaunt in the Pony Gauntlet most of the time for when I need the big level grinds. I would love another another a place to heal my Pokemon out there. There isn't. I've checked several times. There's a PC, but like PCs are, it's kind of a hassle to sort of rotate your Pokemon around to try and make it work. So, not suggesting a PC. Can I fish here? I got a sticky barb from that. Oh, nothing seems to be biting this time. Can I? No. Oh. I thought I might be able to surf here, but sadly that's not the case, and I don't know what that's all about. So I don't think I can get an encounter here. 
No, I can't surf here. I can fish. Ah, my encounter for the Pony Breaker Coast is a... Tentacruel. Do I only have a Tentacruel? No. This is new. Alright. Come with me then. I said come with me. Toxic spikes. I'm fine. Okay. I mean, you're level 16. If I hit you, you're dead. Literally, if I hit you with anything, you're dead. There we go. The only other thing I could actually have done there would be basically to, you know, switch into Mushana and do the whole your nightmare thing, which is kind of arduous, really. So I don't want to do that. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the jellyfish Pokemon. Tentacruel. So, the only appropriate name to call this is, of course, a... Cool... Tent. A cool tent. Pokemon Stadium. If you don't get the reference, play Pokemon Stadium. Then you'll get the reference. I mean, you should play Pokemon Stadium anyway, because it's a fantastic game. Give me that. Hey, Lily. The Ruins of Hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressed here. But, but if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Topu Fini, can wash away any impurities within mystic water. You think that might work? Oh, honestly, Joanne, I'm going to make sure that Nebby gets right back to normal. Just you, just, just to show you. I don't think that. I don't think it works like that, Lily. But okay, sure. I think we need other methods to use. That's all I'm just saying. There, I'm not. I'm just doubting your science here. That's all. Just doubting your science that Topu Finney can fix this. So, just you wait, Nebby. This time, I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Joanne, let's go. No, we're playing Sun and Moon. God damn it, Lily. Until my dying day, I will make that joke. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's uh, grandma said, isn't it? Uh, uh. No, I don't think I can do it. It's heavier than words I can even express. We'll have to borrow Machamp's formidable strength for this task. I read about it in a book once. If I remember right, it said, when getting ride powers from Machamp, trainers uh, can uh, when getting rides uh, from a powerful Machamp, trainers can activate Machamp shove by standing next to a rock and pushing B. What? What's B? I don't know a B button. I I, I don't f for breaking the fourth wall again game. Uh, and if we, uh, if we get, find ourselves getting frustrated, we should remember to stand out, step outside, and then step in again to get a bit of perspective. 
the game's referencing the old, uh, uh, you know, if you f if you uh, mess up, you can always, uh, you know, step outside. So if I push this down here, and then push this one to the side. I can push this the right way. Now can I get to the other top of can I get to the other top of dens now that I have my champ shove? I mean I don't think I can actually activate the top of fights, but I think I can get there. So I can make it a lot more easier for myself in the after game, but we're probably not doing after game, so it doesn't really matter. We could do the Faller storyline. If you want to see after game, let me know, because this, uh, with these games, it is just catching legendaries. It's not like the Rainbow Rocket Saga. I mean, there is the Faller's thing, but it's not really like after game story, really. It's not really that great, but it's something. If you want to see it, I, we can do it, but you know. You know, it won't add a lot of story to the game. It'll probably add another, like, five episodes, if that. If uh, we... I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever you want. Uh, where they go wherever they want. So, it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if... They are summoned here. They do sometimes appear. Only sometimes, though. The books say that they are, well, capturous uh, uh, encounters with them do not, uh, do not always end the way you hope. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't invoked any kind of response for Nebby. Oh, that's Hapu. I give you my thanks for this blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. And the Pokemon of Alola. So, were you two watching? The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon. We uh, worship round here our sacred guardians. They have chosen from. They are chosen among the people living on these islands. Each guardian watches over Lily. Told me that uh, you're pretty new to these parts, huh, Joanne? You came uh, to Alola from far off. You must be, uh, really be something then. I heard how you were given some kind of sparkling stone by Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather was uh, also chosen for this honor of being, a uh, being the island's kahuna, but he died suddenly years back. And we've been without a kahuna on Pony ever since. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but Tapu Finney wouldn't choose me back then. So I set out on my own island challenge, traveling through Alola to get I and get stronger. Lily, the kahuna uh, you wish to meet is right here. Oh, of course. Then, uh, 
I am Venom, pleased to meet you. Uh, Kahuna Hapu. Tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want... Uh, so you, do you want to know about Lunala? Who uh, we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Moon? My mother has disappeared into the Beast World. I know that uh, she was a terrible person, but she's still my mum. She... We need to see her again. We need to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between the worlds. The world of the beasts, eh? Is uh, that what that thing uh, uh, that came to Pony Island was? A beast? Top of Finney and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We didn't stand a chance. Alright. I'll tell you what you want. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But I don't know much. Just that there's this ceremony uh, for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes. Somehow... Uh, gave the legendary Pokemon power. This is the Sun Flute. It the, seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks like a flute. It's used to reside in the Lake of Ula Ula. Uh, uh, the other is supposed to uh, be held on Executor Island. I do not know why these places were chosen, but it has been passed down that that's where it belongs. Executor Island? I think I read about that somewhere. It's an inhabited island off the coast of Pony Island, right? Yes, it is. And no reason to daily here. Uh, the dilly here. Let us uh, go and speak to the Sea Folk's chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We'll proceed back to Sea Folk Village. I have to walk all the way back. Or activate fly. I, I can't. I, I can't activate fly, actually. I tell a lie. I can't activate fly whilst in this place, but technically it counts as a cave. Can I fly now? I can fly now. Okay, cool. Then I will fly now. We'll get to... You know, we'll get through all the storyline that we have to deal with. We're going to Executor Island, and then in the next episode... On Saturday, we'll actually go to Executor Island, okay? Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. That's what friends are... That's what friends are for! Friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up, no matter what. You journey to Executor Island, and you should speak... Uh, to journey to Executor Island, you should speak to the uh, Chief of the Sea Folk. I shall be wishing you safety. Bye now. Ah! I'd like to go to Executor Island, please. Arg, I can take you there. I'm going to go and heal my Pokemon up before we go and deal with this. Just a sec, guys. Heal me, Nurse Joy. Thank you. It's mighty kind of you.
Right, let's head on over to the pier. Where we need to go to go to Executor Island. It's not this pier. It's the next one down. It's the boat that looks like a magic harp. Oh, did you find her? Yes. And Happy was, uh, became the new Kahuna. I keep on accidentally nudging the capture card. I am sorry. Oh, now that brings joy to my ears. Her old grandfather must be smiling down upon us. Yes, Hapu will do the best for her late grandfather. As I must do the best for my mother's sake. And for Nebby as well. Nebby is the Pokemon within my bag, you know. And so, there's a place we'd like to go. Executor Island. Arg, Executor Island! There you mean where the flute is. Well, you two land lovers kind of already met the Kahuna. And Pony Island's captain isn't around here anyway, since we don't got one of those. So, I guess there's no point in waiting for any trials. Alright, the SS Magic Carp will have you there. Uh, and sh you think she sell? You'll be thinking you're sailing on a dream. All aboard the SS Magic Carp. Executor Island. Ah, here we are, Executor Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site, but that was a long time ago. Go, uh, go on now, both of you. Good luck. Let's go and find the flute. Trainers really can go wherever they please, as long as they have Pokemon with them, can't they? I think I am beginning to understand the appeal of Pokemon. Thank you. Arg. Right, and on that note, we're going to end today's episode here. So if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Join us next time where we will be going to ex uh, we will be going through executor island on our way to get the sun flute but until next time i am lantern joe aka your red nosed lantern if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe consider donating some money to red nose day of course if you can because we are doing a red nose campaign on my channel where i wear a red nose on my face throughout the entire month of march we also have a merch store, that link down in the description below. The 8th anniversary t-shirts are available there until the end of the month and profits from those sales will be going to Red Nose Day as well if you want to buy one. You don't have to, but it's there if you want to. Until next time, I am Lantern Joe, your Red Nose Lantern. Mean to the Pokemon get to Lazar, everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider donating some money to Red Nose Day. In this global pandemic, Red Nose Day is helping support people in the UK and across the world as well. You can find out more information about what they're doing down in the description below, as well as links to donate. And you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out these videos in the top right and top left-hand corner. Follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe. And of course, check out Power Zone Metal as well. It's a weekly metal radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am your Red Nose Lantern, aka Lantern Joe. And I will see you next time.